If you are this channel subscriber, then you probably have seen this 8 engine gearbox. In the last video comments, I saw a lot of you guys who recommended to use more powerful motors instead of the small micro motors. So I listened, and that's why we are here today. I use this time 775DC motors, what are rated to the 150 watts. But because I use 6 of them, the whole system should be 900 watts. But yeah, this is for intro, let's get right into it. Really shortly I wanna explain a couple of things. One of them is this bolt at the back here. This helps to avoid the shaft moving backwards and holding big gears connected with small gears. I used this exactly same system in my previous video. This new gearbox is really similar to the last one but there are some major differences. Of course this new one has 6 motors instead of 8. Those 775 motors are way more powerful than those small micro motors that I used before. The new gearbox has 2 to 1 gear ratio, the last one had 3 to 1. This is because I want more RPMs and I don't need to increase torque so much because of the more powerful motors. Last time I soldered motor wires in series, but this time I have not done this yet but I will take power for every motor directly from the power supply. In every video comments I see questions like what printer or material I'm using and something about print settings. Well I'm using Creality CR10S and Ender 3. In this build all gears are printed with Ender 3 and for material I use PTG. With my CR10 I printed out the body and bearing covers. The body is printed out with a 0.8 nozzle 100% infill and 0.4 layer height. For material I used PLA. It took 25 hours to print and a bit less than 400 grams of filament. But it didn't go really smoothly. I got extruding problems and my print failed at somewhere around 75%. I printed out missing piece with my Ender 3 and glued those two bars together using epoxy glue. But printing out gears. I got two times layer shift. This was really frustrating because printing one this bigger gear took also a bit more than 9 hours. For gears I used 0.4mm nozzle. 60% of infill and wall thickness was 6 lines. The only parts that needed a bit support material were the smaller gears. For the first test I designed a double volute water pump. This test didn't go really well, because in Estonia winter is happening and they cannot do this type of test outside, 
so I had to do the test in one small shower room. I did only 3 runs and I give up because it's pretty pointless, but I had one idea what is way more interesting, so I designed and pulled a snowblower. This snowblower is designed only for testing purposes, this is useless for real world applications. I took power from the car battery. When I powered this up first time, it looks fine, but when I throw the snow at the second time, it breaks. The coupler snapped in half, thankfully it's really easy to fix. I changed this to a bit stronger one. Now we are back in business and we can continue. There can be some improvements, but overall it works fine. In the next project I build a new snowblower and something what will feed snow in. And this all should be on wheels to drive around with it. Maybe even radio controllable. I can say one thing for sure, you will see this gearbox many times more. For example, I am planning to build a huge water jet engine and attach this to a real boat. But like I said before, winter is here. And this means that outside temperature is minus 10 to minus 25 degrees and I'm gonna do this really soon. This will be a summer project. But when the time is there, make sure you will not miss this by hitting the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. If you have already done this, then I deeply thank you from the heart. You guys have made those videos possible. Well, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and what is most important, see you guys next time. Bye.